um, fire needs air to intensify. So by shutting your door on the way out, it harbors that fire from getting any more dangerous before we get there, which smaller fire is easier for us to put out in a safer food family. We're gonna be out here today. We're gonna be doing this dollhouse, really looking at the effects of fire behavior, kind of what happens before we get there. We use this as a training exercise for us to let us see what the fire does before we arrive on scene and learn different things that we can do to help us combat that fire once we get there. What we found in doing this though is that there's a ton of information that we can get and show the general public of things that they can do before we get there to help us um, and stay safe at the same time. Things like shutting your door at night, isolating yourself in the room. If you did have a fire with the proper smoke detectors to alert you, you're at a higher chance of survival because the smoke doesn't have quite a big enough opening to enter your room because the door's shut. We've seen studies, and we'll see it this morning out here, where the room that's isolated from the fire after this thing is burned and been put out, um, it'll have minimal damage inside. So closing your doors at night before you sleep is very important, along with smoke detectors as a um, early alerting system is even better. And small things like if your house does catch on fire and you exit your house, have a meeting place outside to where your kids know where to go. You can gather the whole family up, but shut your door on the way out as well.